Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. You picked an interesting hour for it. Me? Okay, what's going on? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know... Fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then he tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. I'm gonna try this with Pan Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. Don't work out, uh... Just want to be there for it. Where? Mm -hmm. 
see you inside Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. This might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Huh. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh-huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? 
What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, Fee. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So... What have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. Ah! So you want to tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques, and we'd only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. What's a circ? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. The plan, entire op, it's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, 
to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses, I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Uh, past the Black Wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Hey, Dakota. Chamai, brother of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me. I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors. Perception of cyberspace. That is what changes. You adapt to it. The raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense systems slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside? With reality? You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know is Johnny's dreams. currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A 
the backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny, that he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. I mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? Talking about Sinosure. The black wall algorithms. What went down in that bunker. Indeed. In colliding with your reality, their infinite permutability would grant them their desired, tangible form. Had you let them slip through, they would have become your psyche, become you. Fortunately, your reality's technology is too rudimentary to let open the floodgates. In limiting you, it limits them, keeps them at bay, though this will not last. You will hasten this change, for you have something that belongs to them. A deadly weapon to you. A backdoor to the future for them. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You wanna destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. 
This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. I hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, my body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi, calm and yourself, fast. child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have. Holy. Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might prep as well coming along all right. <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. it, Bobby? Hey, right now? Okay. Saul needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold, isn't this? In theory. We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? Heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. You think you know all you need to? If not, fire away. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? So, you want an award? Hop up here. 
We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Come on, Sorry. V. Say your piece. You all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Aldecal, though, I... I don't know if you Just should... Just answer the question. Are you ready? <laughs> he flabbergasted. He is. Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have you with us, V. Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way of Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldo Caldo. Welcome to the clan. The most dysfunctional ever. <laughs> he flabbergasted. What's it he they say? Easier to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldo Caldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. It's a basketball and found you. glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Are you all right? Miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too then. In Night City, you're alone. Even in a crowd. But here... Feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I might have. You have to look around. You, uh, so maybe I'll take two or forty-fives. Seeing as Dakota seems I to be once found a dead magpie today. under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. And couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today. I understand why. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Have a say. Catch you on the trail. Tell her 
Sure, this Fire might be the end. Go out of your head. She wants to quit her job in Colorado and come here. It's Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Is everything going all right? If you send Matt, she's going it's to going. Worse. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn-out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? You think it's really that bad between them? The truth is we need cash and fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Had it up to here with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't give fuck tomorrow. Pardon my French. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Alda Caldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist, don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but...
think we'll pull through tomorrow? I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Now you're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Makoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I'd put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, V. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, V. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. I had it just a second ago, I swear. Just threw everyone in. You probably just caught a well, chatter from some rats. History is a blind. Protect broadcasts on modular frequencies. I mean, Forget it, trust me. And if I do latch on to their signal, and we find out who's on the site, what then, huh? What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Big spoon, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. Probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back?
I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. I saw the most stars. Mount Sinai, at the peak. And when were you in Egypt? I used to work on the head. Darn. So nice here. Mm-hmm. for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them, and who in their right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. I'm sorry. V, stop. You accept me and your family, and how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. <sighs> You're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I'd been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I 
could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new.